guys, it's me, Courtney, from Know Your Produce, and today we're making my Mexican black beans. These beans are full of flavor. They're perfect for meal prep, side dish, main course, whatever. Let's get started. You've got to try these beans. Well, you could use canned beans, or you could even use beans that you made at home. I like to make my beans in the Instant Pot. It's super simple. I literally put them in and forget about it. So they're in here cooking right now. So when I drain my beans and everything, I actually like to reserve a little bit of that liquid. So I have some beans that I cooked here. You can see they have a little bit of liquid in them. Um, and I like to use that because it thickens the beans up. It gives it like a nice creamy rich sauce to it. Um, and you don't have to use water, um, but you could also use water in place of this or even your favorite vegetable broth to add flavor. So now I'm gonna put the beans into my saucepan. I'm using a large skillet and let's show you how we do this. So I'm getting my pan nice and hot. I like to add about one to two cups of black beans. And you see I'm adding in that liquid as well. Now you're gonna have more liquid in your black beans from a can, so I like to add about a half a cup to a cup of water. This skillet is hot. <laughs> and now we're gonna add in that flavor. So I like to add my own seasonings. I make my own taco seasoning, so I use a little bit of that. And then I'm also gonna be using other seasonings in this. So I'm gonna put a bay leaf in. I'm also gonna use some onion powder, some of my taco seasoning, some cumin, and as well as oregano. I love oregano, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that right on in. And then we're gonna give that a mix. Um, I really like making this at least once a week. We use it for tacos, nachos, burritos. I use it for taco bowls. I'll even eat this on some toast with guacamole, which is so good. Um, it's really just super flavorful and it cooks up so quickly, which makes it a perfect weeknight meal if you're like in a rush and you don't wanna you know, bust a big thing of food out. So now we just wanna bring these to a boil and then we can let it simmer and thicken up. So now you can see our beans are boiling. I'm going to give it a good stir. Scrape down any seasoning from the side of the pan because you want the seasoning in the beans, not on the side of the pan. And just scrape it down a little bit. And then we're going to reduce that heat and we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 to 25 minutes depending on how thick you want the beans. Now, if you have an induction top or an electric top, it's gonna to take a little bit longer for that to simmer, but don't worry, just keep stirring it occasionally as needed so the beans don't start to stick and burn on the bottom of the pan. So just kind of watch it as needed. Once it's simmering, it's gonna thicken up. See how there's those little bubbles? It's not going crazy. This is like a simmer. So we're just gonna let it do its thing, let it simmer like this for 15 minutes or so. And you wanna keep scraping it whenever you can. Just give it a little mix here and there. And it smells so good. I love the smell of these beans. It's so flavorful. And these are perfect for like taco night, like do a Taco Tuesday and put these in a taco. They're so good. <laughs> And if you don't like that bean texture, you could even mash these up and get them like kind of chunky. So now you can see the beans have really thickened up. They've been cooking for about 13 minutes and I am about to remove them off of the stove because this is perfect to me. To finish this off, I'm going to just add a little squeeze of lime. I love fresh lime juice in my black beans when I make it like this. And then I'm just gonna give it another stir and then I'm gonna remove it from the heat now. Remove the bay leaf, you're gonna to toss that to the side. We've, it's done its job. And you're just gonna pour this into your desired container. Um, and then everybody can just grab whatever they want to make their tacos. You could put it over nachos, however you wanna serve it, even as like a, just a side dish. And then I like to finish with a little bit of fresh cilantro. I, I'm gonna go in for a bite. It's steaming hot, but it's so good. Let's get a little bit of fresh cilantro. And if cilantro tastes like soap to you, leave it out. You can use parsley if you want something green on top or even some like avocado. Mm, they're so good. You get that delicious lime at the end. Um, so, ooh. They are so full of flavor. They have all those great spices that we used. We used the bay leaf, we used the taco seasoning, the onion powder, um, the cumin, which is, I love cumin. 
Um, and then I like to put the cilantro on top and then finish it with the lime. The lime really wakes it up. You could even add more lime if you want, but this is perfect, ready to go and ready to serve. We hope you enjoy this recipe. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.